Welcome to Life with David. I'm David, and today I'm tackling one of the great debates of all time. You know, like red or blue, Michael or LeBron, Coke or Pepsi. That's right, hand or bath towel. What, you've not heard of the great towel debate? Well, the 50,000 residents of Air Ventures Camp Scholar face this decision every time they head to the shower room. So why don't you join me as I go over the proper technique for taking a shower at Air Venture. Each year, during the last full week in July, the greatest event in aviation, Air Venture, is held in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. During that time, besides 10,000 airplanes, approximately 50,000 campers ascend on Camp Scholar, located next to the Air Venture grounds. There are six shower houses to handle the hygiene needs of all the campers. That's a lot of people, especially when many campers take two or more showers a day when it's really hot. First, let's go on a little tour of the shower facilities. Note that I took this footage when no one was in the shower. It was late at night before most of the campers had arrived and someone was posted at the entrance to make sure I didn't make anyone uncomfortable. The North Men's Shower House consists of three rooms. One side is a restroom with several flush toilets, urinals, and sinks. On the other side is a changing room with maybe 10 sinks, a long bench, and some hooks. In the middle is the shower room for with approximately 40 showers, each with a curtain, soap rack, towel hook, and a sprayer nozzle pulled straight from an old school kitchen sink. You turn the water on by pressing the sprayer button, let go and it turns off. There's one temperature which is very warm, but not hot. I've never experienced a cold shower. The demand water heater seemed to work very well. While some campers prepare for their shower in the changing room and then walk to the shower stall, I take a slightly more modest and considerate approach. Let's face it, nobody wants to see a naked old man. I don a bathing suit, a t-shirt, Crocs, and bring a plastic grocery bag with a small container of shower gel, a bottle of shampoo, a washcloth, and a hand towel. That's it. No glasses, no deodorant, nothing else. When I get to the shower stall, I close the curtain and hang the grocery bag and washcloth on the soap rack and the hand towel on the hook outside the shower stall. Then I slip out of the bathing suit and t-shirt and flip them over the open ceiling joists so they stay dry. Although the showers are kept immaculately clean, I never let my bare feet touch the shower floor. I always put them into my Crocs. After testing the water, I wet what little hair I have and shampoo up. Then I wet my body and washcloth and soap up with shower gel. When I'm done, I rinse off at the same time I rinse off the washcloth. Here's where the great towel debate comes in. I find that a bath towel is just too big and bulky to use in the tight confines of the shower stall. Instead, I use my hand or the rinsed out washcloth to remove most of the water from my body before I use the hand towel to finish drying. I start with my face and body and finally dry my hair last. I pull on the bathing suit and t-shirt, gather up my stuff into the grocery bag, and head back to camp feeling refreshed where I finish my post-shower routine. The shower facilities are kept immaculately clean and are serviced several times per day. However, with so many people, the few flush toilets are often overwhelmed. However, there are several hundred portable toilets located throughout the camp. Porta Johns may have a stigma, but these are very clean and serviced at least daily. Each one has hand sanitizer and at least four rolls of toilet tissue, which I use to sanitize the toilet seat before use. Thanks for joining me today. I hope this answers some of the questions that many first timers might have. Camp Scholar is an amazing place which turns into a medium sized city for one week per year. Using the showers quickly and efficiently benefits all campers and contributes to everyone's enjoyment. It's an experience that shouldn't be missed. I hope to see you there next year. If you like this video or you think someone else might, please give it a thumbs up. If not, give it a thumbs down. The more likes this video has, the more YouTube will recommend it to others. Also, please leave a comment or suggestion for things to do. I hope to do more of these videos, so please subscribe and click on the bell for notifications of new videos. Let's get together next time for another day in Life with David. See you soon.